Alright, YouTube, today I'm going to be showing you how to install CM10 on your MK802. First thing you'll need to know is what firmware you're on. If you haven't installed any firmware, then you're probably using the stock firmware. There's a recovery patch over here, which you'll need to download. If you've installed a updated firmware or you're using a custom firmware, like Uber, or you're probably using Revision 2. Um, Revision 2 is right here. Like if you watched my last video about how to install Uber, or you're definitely on firmware of Revision 2. So these are just suggested softwares to install. You don't need to update those, but it's, they say it's good to. Next thing you're going to need to do is download Script Manager to your Android device, which means it'll need to actually be working. If your Android device is bricked, then you'll need to uh, unbrick it first. My last video will show you how to do that. I'll have a link to that, and I'll also have a link to the original firmware if you don't want to use Uberoid for whatever reason. But Uberoid is pretty awesome, so I would say use that. All right, and now you'll need to download Cyogen Mod 10 and Google Apps from this link. I'll have a link to that description too, as well as this page. And if you scroll down about halfway on the page, you'll see chain log. Download the link over here. And also, you'll want to download G Apps, which is right here. This is no longer developed, so there won't be any newer versions that you'll have to update to or anything. Right, once you download those two, you'll need to download the compatibility file since. The MK802 wasn't actually made to be run on the M10 or even Jelly Bean for that matter. You'll need to download that, which is a link here to Mediafire. And once all you have all those down those files downloaded, you'll want to put them on your SD card. You will extract the first link. Let's see if I can show you. This link will need to be extracted. So let's open it up. This is what it will be inside. Three files, recovery, uh, recovery, reboot, and install. And the other two files that you downloaded, you just copy to your SD card. So it should look something like this. And then once you install the legacy compatibility from Mediafire, here it is, I haven't downloaded it yet. So make sure your file downloaded. You should have, your card should look something like this. Except, oh, you can't see my last thing is it's still downloading. We'll give it a second. Is it done? Yep. Alright. DVSD card. There we go. We get compatibility, G CM10, recovery, recovery install, and reboot recovery. Or, re yeah, reboot recovery. Alright, so now what we'll need to do is take this out and put it in your MK802. I'll do that right now, and I'll switch over to my capture card. Right, here we go. Alright, here we are in my MK802. Um, one good thing to notice when you're about to copy these files, check the file sizes first, because I had one of mine be zero kilobytes, and that caused a problem. So, uh, this is actually take number nine, I believe. Anyway, so here we go. We gotta copy these files over. The three files we extracted have to be copied to the internal SD card. Just do what I'm doing. That's one. What was that again? I can't remember. Okay, install recovery. Recovery. You don't have to do it in any order. Paste. And reboot recovery. Copy. paste. Okay. And you can get Script Manager. I'll give you a link to the APK file from the official website. You can go ahead and install that by clicking on it. I already did. So, let's leave that and go to Script Manager. Yeah. Alright, now we're here we are in Script Manager. The default folder is MMT slash SD card. That's exactly where we wanted to be. Click on Install Recovery. It'll probably look the same as that with a pencil on it. And make sure SU. Tap on SU to make it turn green. And then go ahead and click Run. If it asks you to allow super user rights, just click Yes. Or OK or whatever it is. I don't remember what it's supposed to be. Now we just wait. And now it says Done. That means you successfully installed recovery. Again, I don't know if I mentioned this before, but I'm using Uberoid. 
You can probably do it with the stock firmware. It's just a lot more difficult. You have to install BusyBox and Super User manually, and that's no fun. Okay, so that one's done. It says done. Let's close this. Now let's go to Reboot Recovery. Okay, so when we're in recovery mode, you can't have any external hubs plugged in. You can only plug in a keyboard, and it has to be plugged in through USB directly into the built-in USB port. You can't use any hubs. You can't use anything else that would draw any extra power. So you might as well unplug that stuff now, or as soon as you click on the script, go ahead and pump super user run. Hopefully that won't mess anything up because I've been trying to record this video for quite a while. All right, here we are in Clockwork Recovery Mod. You may notice it's a little bit messed up. That's because it's not maybe made for the default firmware. Anyway, it's still very usable. Um, you use up and down to choose your options, but as you can see, when you press it more than once, it disappears. So you kind of have to remember what the items are. This is again why I said this isn't for beginners. So we need to go to install zip from SD card, which it is right above this, so it's blank. So we press up, and I believe it's right will take us to the next menu. No, okay, so it's left. Press left on your keyboard. And remember, you can't use any keys if, um... Okay, that's not it. Hold on, I might have to look it up. You have to have your keyboard directly plugged into the device, and for some reason I had to take out my SD card in order to actually get it boot into recovery. So once it rebooted, mine didn't turn back on, took off, unplugged it, took out my SD card, plugged it back into the wall, and it was fine. Okay, uh, I was pretty sure it was enter. Oh, that's apply update.zip. Oh, my bad. Okay, choose zip from SD card is the first option. So let's go up to that and press right. Okay, right seems to be back. So go down one again to install from zip, car from zip, press left. Now we're in this menu, choose zip from SD card, left. And here's our external SD card, the one I had to unplug and plug back in really quick when it started up. Uh, <coughs> I'm having a hard time reading this, let me go check my list again to see what's supposed to go first. Okay, root, reboot and recovery. Okay, we have to wipe data cache and Dalvik cache first in that order. So we were not supposed to be here yet. My bad. Go back. Press left for OK. Go back. Press left for OK. Uh, wipe data is first. That's this option. Go down to yes, which is of course on a blank screen. Now wiping the data. And once we actually have CM10 loaded on this thing, we won't be looking at this extremely disfigured recovery screen anymore. It will be perfectly fine, so you'll be able to back up your stuff and not have to try to guess what you were on before. Okay, anyway. After data is wipe cache. Wipe cache partition is right there. Press back. Which is, uh, in case you're thinking back, I'm talking about left arrow. I don't know if I mentioned that before. Okay, scroll down to yes. Hey, it's on the screen this time. Alright, we're done with those two things. Next up is wipe Dalvik. I believe that's under advanced. Let's see if we can get down to advanced. Sweet. And wipe Delvic is the second one, which is blank for me. Press back. Okay, scroll down. And if your screen was lit up before, it might be dark when you get to the menu, so 
if you just get to a blank screen, just press the down arrow, and that, yeah, because remember, every other key press blanks the screen, which is really dumb, but it's totally worth it for a site, for installing a site under Gen Mod. I can't pronounce anything. Okay, forget it. But next thing we're going to do is install Cyogen Mod, the base. So let's go down to go back. Press back to confirm, or left. I'm just going to say back from now on. If I say back, assume I mean left on the USB keyboard you're using. Install zip. Select. I'll just say select maybe then. Or back. Whatever. I'll say either one. Um, install zip from SD card. It choose. Uh, sorry. Choose zip. So I press up. Then back. Or select. Okay. Go down to CM10, which is right under this folder. CM10. Scroll down. And press select. And now it's installing CM10. Alright, I think there's a progress bar over there. I'm not entirely sure. Installing update. Very good. And as far as I know, this is actually the first CM10 video of installing for this specific device on YouTube. So, woo! Yeah, that's always fun. Oh wow, we have four different progress bars going on. That's confusing. Install is the Google Apps, so we gotta look for the G Apps folder. Install zip from SD card. We're gonna go back up, select that, and Go to Gaps. It should be the second thing alphabetically if you don't have very much on your SD card. Select it. Go down to Yes. Select that. Okay. And next thing we're going to do is the last one, the compatibility. So choose Zip from SD card. And there, Legacy, Jelly Bean. Select it. Go down to this. And since the first few times I flashed, it wouldn't boot up with my SD card in. As soon as I click reboot, I'm going to remove my SD card. You might not have to do that. What you can do is just do what I did the first time. Reboot it, and if it doesn't start up, then unplug it, take out your SD card, plug it back in. Alright. I think that's everything. Yep. Alright, so... Let's go to... Go back. Select it. And then reboot system now. I'm going to take out my SD card before I do that. Okay, Re we're about to reboot the system. SD card removed, I just made sure. And here we go. No signal. There we go, hold on. I'll let you guys see. There we go. Yeah, I have to plug it into my TV first. That's what was causing problems. It might have been that and not my SD card, but you can try either thing. Alright, here we go. It says damaged SD card, but I don't actually have one in there. Sweet. And just to prove to you that it's actually on Ice Cream Sandwich, even though it was definitely the CM10 um, logo, there's a little bit of ghosting, but we can fix that. I'll show you guys how in a second. Wow, this video is longer than I thought it'd be. Finish. Sweet. We got a nice looking. This I hate this wallpaper. What is this? It's all grainy and weird. We're not gonna worry about that. You guys know how to change wallpapers. Hopefully, if you're installing a custom ROM. Um. Yeah. Okay. Settings. We just saw settings. Settings. I want to click on settings. 
All right. So you got Wi-Fi. This has Bluetooth compatibility. I've actually used it, I think, once, and I think it works pretty well. I think it would probably depend on what adapter you're using. I was using a USB from Kingston. I don't remember. I'll get you guys more information. If you have a question, just post a comment. All right. Um, battery. Here we go. I think there's an option. No, it's not it here. It's display. Uh, there's some way to turn off the little annoying battery thing. I don't remember where. Anyway, let's take care of the other stuff first. Developer options. Turn on. Yes. Uh, HDCP checking. We're going to turn that completely off. Never check, because I think that was also causing problems with my recording. Uh, protect SD card launch. Nope. Android debugging. Yes, I love debugging. You don't need to turn that on unless you're going to be doing his stuff, but, um, where is it, so, show GPU, surfaces, disable hardware, yeah, always use GPU for screen compositing, and force, and force GPU rendering might work, but I'm pretty sure that, it might just be me, but I think it looks better with force GPU rendering, because, like, it kind of stutters when you have menus, but always using the GPU for screen compositing seems to make it better for me, at least. Uh, you have a bunch of other options you don't really need. I can't remember for the life of me where to remove the battery thing is, though. I'll have an annotation showing you how to get to that. And for lock screen, you can turn, you can change it. It says currently slide lock, you can say none. And then, um, if you were to lock your device, and then unlock it, it'll just be like this, instead of having the default slide lock. You can even put a pattern or a password on here, which is really nice, because you can't do that with the default firmware. So let me just turn it back on. And here you go. You can do a pattern too, but I'm not going to take the time to do that. But yeah, the locking it's pretty cool. I mean, if we're a TV device, you might want to lock it so people won't, you know, like download stuff or buy stuff since you're signed in. Uh, where is the, oh, rotation. This is very important. Turn off auto-rotate, or else your screen will get stuck sideways sometimes. It's really annoying. Uh, I forget how to lock screen rotation. Uh, okay. System, status bar, here we go. Uh, auto-hide, no. Battery style, very important. Turn that to hidden. So you don't always see that stupid no battery thing take up space. Signal. I don't remember if that's for Wi-Fi or something else, so I just hide it for now. I don't care. Uh, AM, PM style, not important. I'm just going to do small. My clock is completely off, but I don't care. Alright, so this still has some stuttering to it a little bit. That's just going through like pretty much any menu. Um, games play pretty well. I was playing Plants vs. Zombies on here earlier before I, uh, wiped it so I could show you guys. Um, Dead Trigger, if you can get a controller working, it's actually pretty good, nice. My controller is seen the mountain my joysticks wrong, but yeah, this thing can actually play games pretty well. So, alright, I hope you enjoyed this video. It took me a very long time to get all this information together to get it presented to you, so a like would be appreciated. Um, yeah, I guess comments... Yeah, if you have any questions, send me a com post a comment in this video, and I'll try to answer it. Uh, I, I read all the comments, but I don't get to answer them, so if you have any suggestions, just post that too. Uh, yeah, and that's it. So I guess I'll see you guys later.